You done chillaxing in the shade and the dry grass and leaves? Come on, let's go. Yeah, I know. I was like, where did I go? Alright, go inside. Good girl. Okay. Are you bad? Good girl. Lynx Lake Campground. Sure. I'm setting your destination to Lynx Campground in Prescott. Thanks, Bev. Alright. <laughs> I think we are ready to go. We're all packed up. It was actually fun at this park. It was a nice stop just to chill out and take a walk, look around before it's time to head on. Okay. I think we're good. I think Mike and Jeff already headed towards the campground. You can go ahead if you want to. Guess I'm gonna be the last of the choo-choo train. The caravan. Jennifer was having some electrical issues, so we helped her with that today. So all of her, just all of her electrical issues, or um, electric in the in her RV were was not working. So um, Jeff and I kind of played around with it and got everything working again. So she is now back in business, and she's so happy. Sucks if you don't have any power. But now her refrigerator is working because she had to throw out food because it's been several days without power and all her food went bad because you need 12 volts to run your refrigerator because it um, works the controller. And not to mention she didn't have any lights, any furnace, and it's been getting cold at night. So, And that all requires the 12 volt power. Onward bound. Oh, there's Mike right there at the top of the hill. I guess he's waiting. <laughs> oh, 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 geez, this is a steep hill. Kick in. Oh, I forgot to put my toe haul on. Oops, things are falling in the back. Wow, this is, I didn't realize the, how steep this hill was when we were coming down. Holy moly. Yeah, we were definitely down in the valley. Well, that makes sense. Look at it. It's pretty down there. You can see where the water flows. It's all green. It has the cottonwoods growing. It's like two different valleys that split off. Those are the incoming valleys. Then it goes outwards from the dam. Oh, there's Jeff. I thought he went on, but... Okay, I guess he's gonna be in the back of the caravan. Choo-choo. Why aren't you telling me where to go? Lynx Lake Campground. All right, I'm setting your destination to Lynx Campground in Prescott. I thought you already did. And yet again, she didn't. Beverly. I'm going to need you to do better.
Okay, I am continuing on. Shouldn't be that hard for me to take this corner. I'm just gonna take it wide. Wait, which way is it? Is it up in here? Well, I can get in there. I mean, I, you know, I'm in the class seat. Watch out, Jeff. Let me not run you over. Oh, not too bad. Hold on. Actually, it's not as leany as I thought it was. Leany? I did my best. Yeah. Is leany a word? Leany is totally a word. Okay. And if it's not, I just made it up and it's all good. Okay, it's going to be in the dictionary. Leany. It, yeah, leany. Okay. It looks pretty and then good. It'll, it'll, a leany will, sh there'll be a picture of my rig in there. Well, we only had this option. So yeah, so I think it's fine though. Now we got to get Jeff in here. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad we couldn't get Jeff up in here. This it's is not a very big, like at Kaibab, they had a bigger, uh, like, group site. So. Yeah. Okay, but that was level. I need, do I need to pull my truck off and then you can pull in? Too bad you couldn't get up in here. I know. <laughs> just park under the... This is huge. Yeah, the cabana. So it's weird. The cabana is level and... I know. So this is a double site. Yeah. Um, and you can put up to four vehicles. Four vehicles? Yeah, is mm. what it says, so... Hmm. But this is us. Yeah, they were just saying that the 31st is uh, the last day you can camp here. You, everybody has to be out on the 1st so of November, and the um, area will be closed for the season. So we're getting in on the last day. It'll be nice. So I need to go ahead and get my truck unhooked. Actually, Jeff is going to park right there. So for now, I'm not going to unhook my truck because I don't really need to go to town or anything since we just came from town. So... I'll just leave it alone for now. That way if or when I pull out of here, because we're only going to be here for two days, it'll be easier if I don't have to hook the truck up. So, And if I do have to unhook it, then that's fine. I'll do that. But for uh, now, I'll just leave it hooked up. Like that? Oh, yeah, that's plenty of room. Suck it in. <laughs> All right, Momo. Come on, good girl. Let's go outside. Come on. Good girl. <laughs> there you go. Look. You're free! <laughs> Take you for a walk in a little bit. You're just happy to be out, aren't you? You see your little tail wagging. Oh my god! What a mess! So that fell on my basket of eggs. And then fell down on the ground. Smashed them all. So I guess it just was not meant for me to have eggs. I still have two dozen in the refrigerator, but... These were just the extra ones I was going to go through, and it was about know, almost a dozen, I think. So, all the broken ones I threw in here. These ones, uh, they're cracked, but yeah, I'm just going to throw them out because it's such a waste, but yeah, they were on the ground. So, yeah, it is what it is. Momo, you look like a little camouflage roll of pulley in the basket. <laughs> Too cute. We are going to go for a bike ride and see what's around. Okay. Eyes ready. Oops, squeaky. 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 Okay, you guys leave. <laughs> what are we looking at? A trail. That's a, that's that's a trail that we, on the other side of the ravine. The Is it a beak? Oh, uh, oh, it's a bike trail. I don't know. Oz, you look how... how uh... Yeah, I, I feel like we should just ride <laughs> straight down there. Yeah, it's it not like dangerous dark, looking at and look you know when you hit the bottom you hit a wall I think that it'll that be would good be slick because of the pine needles no well, not even that look at the, the sharp edge when you get down it's yeah, like yeah. a canyon so you'll smack into a wall when you, you get to the bottom dark, oh, my oh yeah God. that's even better let's wait till it's dark all right let's go, all right, we're just gonna go okay sounds good We they do have restrooms here. Hey Momo, how you doing? <laughs> you all comfy in the basket? It is chilly when the wind hits you. Toodles. Oh my god, look at this hill, this extreme hill. I got pedal! Pedal. Oh, Pelix. Uh, uh. Oh no! Pedal assist is off. 
Uh, <laughs> okay, I got it. Good thing my bike is fully charged this time. Oh my god, there's a big difference going up a hill with pedal assist. It's amazing! Amazing, I say! Hmm, somebody's having a campfire. Wow, this is very mountainous. <laughs> Sorry about my squeaky brakes. Hold on to your horses, Moo Moo. We're going fast now. A whole 15 miles an hour. Are they in loop C? Wait, they're in here? Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, ooh. We're gonna investigate. Each loop seems to have pit toilets. Press it. Oh, look at this side here. There's multiple levels, and you can see the lake. What is up with that? Why didn't we get a, a lake view? Although it is kind of hard to see the lake. I don't know if y'all can see it through the trees there. We could have like rolled down the mountain yeah. to the I, I think lake. we've walked down a, a hill like this before to go to a lake. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's right there. Barely, but you can see it. It's through the trees. I'm like, why didn't we get this terrace right here? Look at this terrace. <laughs> it's just amazing. Yeah, there's room for half of us. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could almost, yeah, I couldn't even get in here. Boy, if they cut uh, the trees and a little bit. Boy, well, yeah, like you? not even the trees, just like um, the shrubs and stuff this is cleared such a it up. Cute site. It is. Look I love this site. We there. gotta remember this site. I think this is a tent site, though. Um, it is. I yeah, because I don't. There's only a yeah. place for a one a uh, one car. Yeah. So. Or maybe a really small. Well, wouldn't you be able to fit in this? Uh, I, mean, I could. Yeah, <laughs> Jeff could. He has a small rig. On the website. It specifies tents or what you're allowed to have in these yeah. oh, okay. areas. So. Nice. Our other friends are camping around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, look at that big site. That's a nice site. It's not all on a hill like we are. Yeah, but that's a level site. <laughs> Uh, oh, are they leaving? Oh, because they were here today. I see. Do they? They're not pit toilets. They're flushing toilets. Are you sure? Oh, they are flushing toilets. Oh, I didn't. I thought they were pit. Yeah. Oh, the other ones seem that way. I mean, I gotta have a look. See, I'm sorry. Okay, no ladies allowed, but I'm taking pumpkin in anyways. <laughs> It's warm in here too. Is it? Nice. So that's where our friends are camping right there, Jennifer and Mike. I hear Jennifer vacuuming. Well, we told her about 530, so she's oh. still got some cleaning to do, yeah. You still good there, Mumu? Yeah? <laughs> We're just following Terry and Scott. What loop are we now? What loop is this? Do you know, Jeff? I don't think they can hear me. I said what loop is this? Oh, oh, this is the beginning, eh? Oh, there's water right there, look. Oh, each water, okay, cool. So I can, can you uh, use it, the water? Yeah, you can use it, you're not allowed to fill up your hose. Either. Oh, okay. Because the hose bit part where you put a hose on is all plugged up. Oh, but you can uh, like fill a jug up, right? Okay. Okay, we are on another loop. I have no idea which loop we are. It's kind of confusing here a little bit. Site 22. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a nice one. I like that it's one. Actually, all of their sites are big, even right. their single sites. I just wanted to stop and show you the sign. It says drinking water for filling containers, washing and bathing at hydrant prohibited. So that's pretty cool. I have. Um, two of my water jugs that are empty, so I can go ahead and put some water in. I wonder if they have a well here for this water. Probably. I would taste it. I'd like to find out because... That would make sense. Yeah. 
instead of running all the way out here for, you know. Just down. Huh? Just down a little ways. I want to go down. All right, let's go. All right, we have to get on the main road for this and come out of the campground, so should be careful. Trying to make it to the lake. North Shore! Oh, there it is right there. Yeah, I think um, Kellogg was cold. He didn't have his... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Little, right. It's going to be getting dark soon, too. Oh, cool. They have a little cafe. Yeah, well, it looks like one person. Maybe they don't open till well, late. Well, there's only two days left of the camping. Oh, right. Two days left, so maybe things are definitely closing down. All right, we're trying to make it to the lake, wherever that is. Day use area, open 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. No overnight camping. Oh, here it is. My mic is making a weird sound. Okay, so it says it's Prescott National Forest, Lynx Lake. Dam constructed in 1962 by the Arizona Game and Fish Department with fishing license dollars to provide 55 acres of public fishing waters. Wow. Look how pretty that is over there, too. So beautiful. That is nice. It is a beautiful morning. We had to run into town because the internet out there just totally blows. It's not that the internet I have, it's just we're in a hilly area and the reception is not good at all. So we came into town and the upload's going much faster. I started last night and woke up this morning, it was at 10%. So I was like, nope. I guess that's all part of the nomad life. <laughs> But anyways, we came into town to do some shopping. We're here at Cal Ranch. I think this is the biggest Cal Ranch I've ever seen. It's huge. I got a lot of stuff. This is definitely, I think, twice as big as the one back home in Flagstaff. Huh. Right, Momo? It's huge. Huge. Anyways, I'm just gonna walk around a little bit. I do have to go to Walmart, but I just wanted to waste some time until my upload gets done. It should be fairly quick since we're in town now. Ooh, look at those. That's pretty. Okay, no, I don't need anything. That's cool too, I like that lantern. No, I don't need anything. <laughs> oh wow, look at they've got beekeeping stuff. Remember you wanna have some bee friends? <laughs> My friend actually does bee, actually two of my friends do beekeeping. Seems like a process. Well, what am I talking about? Everything is a process. The chickens were a process. Speaking of chickens, what are you showing him? Mm -hmm. They have chicks here still? Mm -hmm. Wow, it's getting too cold for him, I thought. Huh. Mm -hmm. Look at the little babies. Yeah, don't mm -hmm. lick your lips. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're so cute. Remember, you're missing the little chicks. She's like, I'm good. Well, they definitely do have a good selection of camping chairs. Anybody need a little duck camping chair? <laughs> Why don't you find you a chair, Mumu? Huh? Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. I like the ones that are kind of, that encompass you like a hammock. That's a nice one. It's got a table at the end. Oh, it's a rocker too. Look at that. That's what you need. <laughs> well, that's funny. Oh my god, I love this one. Wow, that's nice. Oh, I love that. I bet that sucker's expensive. That's pretty. Let's see. Oh yeah, only $160. Ugh. When did camping stuff get so expensive? Or has it always been expensive? <laughs> I love that kind of suede look. That's kind of cool, the suede look and the leather. There you go. That's going cheap right there. Oh, old fashioned, what are those, 1940s chairs, foldable chairs. <laughs> so bright. Let's see the price. Ah, they're not that cheap actually. They're like 65 bucks. Ow. 
Wow. Yeah, things have definitely gone up in price. It's weird those are so expensive. And this one here is only 40 bucks. How much is that one? Doesn't say. They do have some zero gravity chairs here. And they've all these chairs have always been expensive. I think I actually paid 120 for mine. But the thing I don't like them is that they're big and bulky and they're just hard to put anywhere. So when you're packing it up for storage, it's just, it's annoying. Definitely comfortable, but not good for portability. You're gonna lock yourself? Is that, is that your um, safe room? <laughs> Someone breaks in, you can be at the back of your um, RV. I don't know if you can get back out. Wow, those things are expensive. Look at that. Oh, that's a bad luck number. 6669. He has a massive saves here. Well, that's pretty cool. A Hunter's Return. That was in Verde Valley circa 1885. They definitely do have a lot of merchandise in here. Are those the water jugs? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Those are cool. They kind of remind me of the gas can that I have. Oh, 30 bucks. That's kind of expensive. Oh, cool. Look at this little mini Jeep. Momo, you can drive a Jeep. Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? How much is that thing? Oh, only $2,800. <laughs> All right, go. Now your leash came off. Go, go. There we go. Oh, look at the patio sets are 40% off. Huh? That's a swamp cooler. That's like our swamp cooler, but on steroids. I mean, we. Wow, that's like 10, 10 times the size of what we have. Well, that would definitely cool people off. That's pretty cool. 2500 bucks. Oh my god, $2,500. Yeah, things are definitely not cheap anymore. Jeff was nice to drive his rig in because I didn't want to unhook the truck and his rig gets pretty good gas mileage. We weren't that far from town. Hey, Mom, where are you going, say? Huh? Hold on, let me take your leash off. All right, go, go. <laughs> wow, they really carved that mountain out for this parking lot. Look at all the apartments on the top. We've come to Walmart to get some shopping done before we go back to camp. Supply run! Hey Mumu, how you doing? We decided to take a bike ride and come to the other side of the lake. We were over there yesterday, but you really couldn't see much. It's definitely a better view from over here. Although I didn't go down because there was a path that led down to the lake on the other side. But this is more accessible here and you can actually bring your bike here. You couldn't take your bike down the path that led down on the other side. It's beautiful and peaceful here. Let's get a closer look. So they have picnic tables and barbecue grills. Wow, it's really peaceful here. You can hear the rustling of the leaves. Isn't that beautiful? It's a pretty long park. It goes pretty far that way. And that's where Terry and Scott went, so I'm going to go catch up to him. I just wanted to stop and look real quick. So nice. Awesome fishing hole. Now they went down this way some way. They do have restrooms here. Pay at self-service station. This is a day-use area. No overnight camping. You got to have a pass to actually fish here. We're just cruising through. We're not going to actually stay still part of the Prescott National Forest here at Lynx Lake. Look at that. I think we've come towards the end over here. So beautiful. Huh? It is beautiful. You know, I would wonder, I would think our um, camping permits would allow us to come down to this. Oh, staying at the campground though, right. but it didn't state that. So no, I don't think it does. Yeah, so we were just well, we just came to check it out. Right. But... Yeah, yeah. I mean, if we had cars or whatever. Okay. Right. So yeah. Let's go up this way, guys. Okay. So we want to. That's an exit right there, right? Yeah. But it takes us up to the next place. Up towards Jimmy's. 
So today is our last day here at the campground. We're gonna go and try to find new camping. There's supposed to be free camping about two miles away from where we're camping now. So we're gonna go check it out and see if there's anything available, hopefully, fingers crossed, that we can find a spot. And then we'll move there tomorrow. From where we were up to Jimmy at the campground, mm -hmm. it is 2.2 uh, .2 miles. Right. But if we came through here, and that's on the 50 mile an hour road. Does it cut out a come mile? come through here and go up around, uh -huh. it will come up a little further up. Then we still have maybe a mile. Yeah, so it cuts so, out uh, yeah. about a mile. Yeah. Nice. Four okay. Miles. So and then we don't have to be on that main miles. road, which yeah. is a lot more traffic and stuff. Yeah. Plus we get to see this. There's camping up here. There's group camping and stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, we can't fit up here in some of them. There's like three up here. Mm -hmm. We can't fit in the camp. This is 25 or 24 or 25. Oh, uh, feet smaller. are smaller. Yeah. Um, and I don't, I'm not sure why they, why maybe trees or whatever. Well, right. let's go find out. Okay. okay. We can go look. And one more glance at this beautiful lake. Really, really a beautiful day. You enjoying your bike ride, Mumu? Mm -hmm. It's just the same warm today. <laughs> I my jacket. Mm -hmm. okay. Huh? There's something in my tire. I don't see anything. Okay. No, there's not. Maybe it already made its way out. Turbo 47. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is definitely a good way to get around. You can cover more. Best. You I, can cover more ground on the bike. I so love these e-bikes. Yeah. All of them. Could you imagine so if we had to walk all this? We would, <laughs> it wouldn't happen. It would take us all dang day. Yeah. yeah. This is a game changer with the freedom. I know it is. I really enjoy. What? Oh, yeah. It's a canyon. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, it's more a waterfall now. There's a trail that leads down here into the canyon. And I think the trail leads to the other side and goes around that way. So pretty. There's a lot of nice places here. Definitely want to spend more time. Look, Momo, it's beautiful through here. All the dry vegetation. It's so pretty. Okay, so on this sign here, it does say hiking and there is biking, but no horses and no uh, ATVs. So let's see where it leads to. Right over here. <laughs> that, I told you it might be too steep, Terry. Oh, watch it, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got play center. <laughs> I got high centered. Did you? Yeah, it yeah. might. Oh, I see. It's not that steep. I thought it went out that way. I was like, that is pretty steep, but no, no. it goes this way. Be very careful. The trail says it's bike friendly. <laughs> bike friendly. Yeah, uh, Terry would disagree. Holy crap, that one turn is extreme and it's sharp. It goes kind of up. But anyways, all right, let's continue on. Okay, Mumu, you ready? <laughs> I've lost Terry. Oh, it goes back, Terry. Oh no, it goes here up.
Huh? I don't know. This where's what's this camping area? I don't know. Wait, is this There's where? A host. We could. Wait, sit in is these. this what? This, this is where we are camping, isn't it? Huh? Is this where we're camping? It looks just like it. <laughs> no, no, no. The host there doesn't have a mailbox. Scott. He's around this way. We can take the road. Yeah, I'm positive. Come here. This one's called Hilltop Campground. This is a different one. Wow, this place is confusing, but that was Hilltop Campground. We're at Lynx Campground. Looks very similar. I think we came this way. He's this way. He is this way. Take a left and he'll be down there. See, we're at Hilltop. I saw this on the map. There he is. No, but you can, no, it'll only get you if you go a specific way. Yeah, it was weird. So we just cut through and we got up to over there by that campground. So I don't think, isn't this where we came in or is this, this is the No, one? this is the other one. It looks very similar though. Okay, let's, let's go to, oh, we got a flat. What? Again? Oh no. Son of a, what is up with this black tire off. getting, yes, I shouldn't have went off road, dang it. These are off-road They're supposed to be, but this one's not. Well, see, the thing is, is that like y'all, y'all have the the thick tires. Y'all have the four-inch tires. This is only the three-inch tire by well, electric, and this is the second time I've gotten a flat. You gotta slime them. them. We've always slimed all of them. Well, I don't know about mine actually. I shouldn't say that. Yeah. Are they? Oh, mother. You know, and I was just about to say I'm feeling a deja vu moment. <laughs> I was. When I was going down that path, oh, I was no. like, wow, I feel like a deja vu, like when I got a flat the last time. And then what happens? I thought we were going to lose Scott because that, I thought, no, we should not have separated. You guys went off trail and I'm okay, like, wrong thing to do. She's the one that was being bold and she's, I was like, look at it, it's a bike friendly trail. And she's like, let's do it. Wait a minute. Scotty took off first and left Aja and I. I'll go get the pump. Okay. How far are we? Not very far. I'll just leave punks at home. Dang it. Unless you want to oh, hang on to her. Okay, no. then you take her. So how, so, I mean, will I need a, okay. will I need a slime? Wait a minute. I don't we have don't slime in there. It's a big puncture and it will even fill up. So don't just take off till we know. So we were able to call one of our friends <laughs> and they're going to come rescue me. <laughs> Again. I, I called Bruce and I said, Bruce, can you come <laughs> rescue Aja? So okay, we thought that was a vehicle. I don't know if you can hear that. But then we came out further and I was like, that is something up in the tree. I have no idea what it is. I think it's in the taller canopy. Yeah. You hear? Yeah. I don't know if y'all can hear it. That's just weird. It is weird. It is weird. I mean, it's like, I guess it must be something, you know, like crickets, you know, like that. Oh, know. yeah. I thought it might be some kind of, it's weird. It's like, but it's over it's here. Over there, I thought I it was in the taller yeah, one, move, but it's, over, it's definitely over here. So hold on. I hear it right here. Yeah, if you get over here, it gets almost inaudible. Right? <laughs> no, so yeah, it's right here somewhere. I don't know what the heck it is. Oh, I shook the tree in it. It's got to be some kind of yeah, sure insect or locust or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it goes. Yep. So it's it's a it's a bug or something. <laughs> That's weird. So this was right by my front door because I had to park close to the bush. Yeah, so it's right here. I walk out my door and it's right here. And I heard that noise. It's just odd. Well, today is checkout day, but I didn't really unpack anything, so I don't have anything to pack up. We're going to take a quick walk down to 
the lake down this trail. It's only a quarter of a mile. We are going to leave today here at noon and it is a quarter after 11. So let's get going. So today is the last day the park will be open. Yeah, today is the last night you can stay here. They're going to close all the gates tomorrow and the park will be closed for the season. Trail number 402, Lakeshore Trail. It's a quarter of a mile. It's very steep though. Mumu doesn't mind. It's kind of steep and craggy. I had to make sure I didn't slip. This is a nice shady part of the trail. Goes along the canyon here. There's a water pipe that runs through here also. I was like, I hear, I thought I heard water, but I think it's actually the tree leaves rustling. Hmm. It's like I didn't know there was running water here. Oh, I see the lake. Oh, I doubt you can probably see it through the trees there, just barely. You definitely have to watch your step here. A lot of tree roots and pine straw and rocks. Oh, cool bridge. This is the trail that goes around the lake. Okay. So, do we go across the bridge or? Either way. I mean, oh, I see the, the beginning of the lake right there. Yeah, that's just a little inlet. Okay. Yeah, let's cross the bridge. Nice. Oh, pretty. I'm loving the different angles of the lake that we've been seeing. This trail just meanders on the lake side. Yeah, this is a nice peaceful walk in the morning. Got three little ducks swimming. <laughs> look, uh, two of them look like mallards. What's that? Huh. I hear something. Some kind of weird bird up in the tree. is a nice view of the lake that's where we were yesterday right or no the day before sorry it's across that way there's a path that leads down but we never took it oh that breeze is chilly yeah. oh this is a nice little sitting area somebody left their little water bottle there huh oh a fishing stand so let's take a little quick view to where we came from. It's a little inlet there. And then it goes around. That was somewhere over there is where we were a couple days ago. And then on the bike ride, we were around this way. You can't really see the beach from here. I think once we get around this corner, you can. Beautiful lake. It's definitely a very pretty walking path. What do you think, Moo, huh? You like it? What is that? Is that a holly? Looks like it. Yeah, very peaceful through here. I how it's fall, the crunching of the leaves beneath our feet. And paws, of course. <laughs> wow, this looks creepy right here. I can't tell if it's seed heads or cobwebs, but it's all over. Oh, it's seed heads. I think it's just gotten stuck. It looks like old cobwebs. Creepy. Oh wow, look at this. Oh yeah. 
it's I think it's the seed heads from the um what do you call those? The reeds. Ugh. I'm trying to float and get in my mouth. Okay, well this trail does go all the way to the south shore, but I showed that to y'all yesterday. And right after that I got a flat on my bike. And yes, my bike still has a flat. We put green slime in it, but it just won't um, fill up. So I think the puncture was a lot uh, bigger than I thought it was and I didn't bring an extra tube. So we'll have to get that fixed later. We're not gonna continue any further on. It is beautiful, maybe next time. But anyways, this is where we're gonna leave it. We've got to head back up. There's a trail that goes here, that goes to the loop that's right next to us. So we're gonna take that up. Four or three. We gotta get back though, cause we have to leave at noon and it's almost that time. Oh, so steep. Steep, steep, steep. Maybe we were misinformed. Seems like this trail is just above the trail that we were on down there. It hasn't, or we haven't seen any trail that shoots up yet. Yeah, we're almost back to the beginning. I see the an RV up there. Okay, yeah, we're back on the trail we started on. So I just kind of looped and came back to the original trail. Oh well. Hey Jeff, there's a trail that leads up here. Huh? You don't know, oh, you don't know where it goes. Guess we'll just go back the way we came. Isn't that a beautiful sound? The rustling leaves. I want to thank y'all for checking out the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to check out more videos, they should be popping up on the screen now. Or if you want to subscribe or check out Patreon, that should be on the screen now. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Love you guys.